Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending September the 3rd, 2021. Well, this week, much like last week, uh, uh, the stock market continues, all of the major indexes continue to participate in making intra-day uh, daily new record highs. Uh, for the week, they're still closing up again. Uh, bond yields seem to be hovering, uh, they can't seem to break out of the 130 range, they still continue to be uh, more comfortable in the high 120s as a matter of fact and close out this week right around 129, 130. So watch out if you're a bond holder, okay? Now I want to talk this week about uh, the Biden tax cuts because those punch, the, the, the punch card or punch list uh, of, of his, uh, I, I didn't mean to say tax cuts, his tax program. Uh, that's punch list is beginning to come into sharp focus as they move uh, into in Washington and in Congress the um, uh, end of the year and 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 pass these through budget reconciliation um, and the major thing is is that he's going to hold true it looks like to his campaign promise of 400,000 or less won't be touched yet anyway they're targeting these uh, at the upper crust, uh, upper tax brackets for people uh, with uh, that are wealthy. Check it out. Listen to this. So you've got your incomes of one million dollars. Long-term capital gains is going to lose its favorability tr uh, treatment and just be taxed at 39.6 percent, which is the highest uh, marginal tax rate. You add that to the ACA surcharge of 3.8 percent to subsidize Obamacare. And uh, that composite there in the federal brackets is going to be 43.4% at ordinary income rates uh, just in those, uh, those items alone for, um, for, for those making over $400,000 a year with incomes greater than $1 million is what I uh, pro more properly should say. So we're seeing increasing tax rates right before our very eyes. They are coming after those greater than a million but I want to come back to that in a sec because there's not actually going to make an overall change and make an overall difference in the deficit spending. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why in just a sec. But let me finish out the punch list. They're going to limit 1031 exchanges to a million dollars a year per taxpayer. They're going to change the estate tax exemption. I talked about this a month or so ago. Bring that back down to a $3.5 million per person. Um, and, and, and that, that was up from 11.7 down to three and a half million dollars. And uh, the uh, credit per couple down to seven million dollars uh, from 23.4. So uh, the lifetime exemption, they're going to decouple that from the estate tax credit. So they're changing that estate tax credit down to seven million, decouple that, the lifetime uh, gift exemption, and, down, and bring that down to one million dollars. And at the same time, increase the highest estate tax rate, marginal rate, to 45%. And if you've done any estate tax planning, you know that uh, uh, trust and those types of estates are taxed. You hit that bracket just north of $12,500 of income per year. So that's, uh, that's, that's the marginal tax bracket, 45%. Now, if you've been around us uh, over the last couple of years, we've been talking about pretty regularly how we think that tax rates may double. Okay, what we're seeing is this happening, maybe not to the, uh, the 400,000 and below right now, maybe not to the middle class, but it is starting to happen. They're going to get this through. The Democrats will because they control uh, all three branches of government. Right? Well, not the Supreme Court. Uh, all both legislative houses, theoretically, anyway, and uh, and the White House. So those those legislative and, and executive branches that they control, they're going to get this through through reconciliation. They already have the votes on that. But um, the more important thing is is that. It's not going to, they're doing this in order to justify the intense spending that they have and they say that they've got this paid for. But with all the other trillions of dollars that have been spent since 2008 and 2009, and then with the COVID crisis alone and the Fed's policies, our deficit and our situation, our fiscal situation is getting dramatically worse. Uh, and, and, and it's not going to make a difference in the overall deficit and the overall uh, uh, budget because there are loopholes that are not going to be easily closed called uh, one of which is uh, private placement life insurance that the well-heeled 
are going to take advantage of very quickly and so they can pass these new laws and put them into place but they're going to have a marginal impact uh, even though these rates are in because these people are still going to uh, you know use those loopholes to not get on so once it becomes apparent that this isn't going to uh, help out the fiscal situation guess who they're going to look to the same place they always look to and that's the middle class and so it is a matter of time even if Biden uh, uh, gets through uh, his campaign promise and probably extends the Trump uh, 2017 Tax Cut and Jobs Act tax rates for another eight years by 2029 and beyond 2030 2034 are those are dates that we're seeing pop up in a lot of uh, governmental reports tax rates are are moving higher and they're moving higher quicker they're moving higher sooner rather than later so towards that end uh, the the I want to invite you to our webinar this Tuesday 6 p.m. I'm going to do it I'm trying to keep that around 15 minutes but we're going to talk about the Social Security situation because that report just came out for 2021 this week and we're going to talk about the impact that that had Towards the larger scope of things, I want to invite you and look for these links right below the video in the email. If you're not getting this email, go to assetguidancegroup.com. If you're just watching these videos on YouTube, go to assetguidancegroup.com. Sign up for our weekly newsletter. That links will be right below these videos. So that webinar for Tuesday uh, uh, coming up, uh, September the 7th, I think that it is, uh, that's at 6 p.m. Eastern. You want to check that out for 15 minutes in the evening. We're going to talk about Social Security and what that report really says in a nutshell and what the dire situation is there before taxes start hitting that arena. And then also then on September the 28th, 30th, October the 5th and 7th at Lanier Tax uh, uh, Institute's campus at the Forsyth Conference Center at 3410 Ronald Reagan Boulevard in, in Coving. Uh, you want to go 3410 Ronald Reagan Boulevard in Coving and uh, I, I register for that. We'll have a link in there for that. Here's the items we're going to be covering and uh, because this is coming sooner rather than later. We're going to be talking about tax rate risk and what you can do about it. Retirement distribution planning, maximizing Social Security, addressing long-term care planning, addressing income planning and retirement, protecting against longevity risk and tax rate risk, and estate planning again, and look at that in the overall view. And we're going to obviously be looking at longevity risk using a stock market approach. So come to those. Get, go to our go to assetguidancegroup.com and check out our event page. You can either get there by, by looking at assetguidancegroup.com slash events or go to the bottom footer of any page on the website and look at educational events and click there and you'll see 3410 Ronald Reagan Boulevard. You'll, it'll, if you click on that link in the, in the educational events in the footer, it will take you there. You can put this on your calendar, but register and, and there will be a link on the website there'll be a link in this email to register for that class this is valuable information it's happening to you faster than you realize and you need to do something to get out of the way because there's a tax train bearing down on us very quickly if you want to find out more of, about that information you can go to uh, powerofzero.com or where my colleague David McKnight has done a considerable amount of study on the uh, impacts of the Biden tax plan and the uh, the uh, prognosis for when these are all going to go into effect and right now the best information that we can all put together based upon the information available out of Washington right now are we've got about eight or nine more years uh, at the outside to get positioned for this Otherwise, we may uh, lose that window and get smashed by that oncoming tax train. you got to get off the railroad tracks, folks. you got to work with us. If I can help you out in the meantime, don't hesitate to reach out to me, wnichols at assetguidancegroup.com. And I'll look forward to seeing you Tuesday night, 6 p.m. Eastern, and again next time. All right, thanks. Enjoy your Labor Day weekend holiday.